Okay, Ascot continues. Race 21, the King Edward the Seventh Stakes, a Group 2 event here. A three-year-old, a few new horses in the field, as you can see, Miss Barron's was one of them. So it's over a mile and four furlongs for three-year-olds. Pines in purple for Molly at Surfer is at the top. Battle Warrior for Jim Murray is two. Sweet Harmony for Joshua Sutherland, three. Deadlock Cyclone for Django, four, along with Jupiter. Six, Miss Barron's for Molly at Surfer, seven, Seascape Study for Carl Arrogant, eight, End of Now Hilltop. Nine, Sam Ashing, Pumpkin, David Robertson, Anne of Troy's Paul Rhodes. Ten, and San Uturesp for Darren Thompson. He's 11. I don't love your naming. Anyway, they're in the gates. And they're away. They go through the first half furlong. Let's see who's going to take him along. It's Jupiter that's got himself over to the fence for Django. Leads are at just half a length, but nobody really wants this. The pace is pretty pedestrian. A fairly tactical affair. Still nobody taking it on. Finally, Jupiter settles. Takes the lead from uh, out wide out of Troy of Paul Rose, and inside of that is Battle Warrior. The black horses. The other one against the fence now is uh, Seascape Study. But it's Jupiter that still leads us. Jockey has a little look round. So it's going to be fairly tactical. Big grey in there is End of Now. John Morgan. The outside of that is uh, Sweet Harmony in the hoops. Django's other horse, Deadlock Cyclone in the yellow. Smashing pumpkin towards the rear for David Robertson. The one against the fence is Sam Uturus. I can't even say that. Out to step? I'll say out to step. Anyway, it's Jupiter still leading. He's got about a five length advantage. We're inside the mile now. And it's Jupiter that leads us. In the chasing pack, just uh, the grey nosing his head through there. End of now. Up against the fence. Our arrogant seascape study makes a move. But it's Jupiter that leads. Leads by about four to Seascape Study in second. Molly at Surface Pines in purple is third. And there's a few of them together. Miss Baron, Sweet Harmony, Battle War out of Tro and Troy out wide against the fence. Sound over the step. Smashing Pumpkin still at the rear. Deadlock Cyclone's been going wide all the way round. But up front, Jupiter heads for home inside the five. He starts to push him along a little bit here. And he's got about a three length advantage over Seascape Study who's dragging on. He's also got a four length advantage over the rest who are pretty close together. Bar Sand now to step who's had the bend and the fence to help. Anyway, it's Jupiter that leads us inside the four now. Jupiter from Seascape Study in second. Sand out to step. Pines in purple. The grey end of now has got a little bit to do. Anne of Troy making a move, as is Miss Barron's. But the one moving best is Pines in purple here. Inside the two and a half and it's Jupiter still hanging on to his lead but he's got a couple of lengths from Pines in purple. End of now. Anne of Troy. They've all got to get a wiggle on. Uh, but it's Jupiter that leads inside the two. Jupiter by a couple of lengths from Pines in purple. And end of now. Anne of Troy. But Jupiter could be taking this from pillar to post. They hit the furlong pole. It's Jupiter. Here comes Pines, pur Pines in purple. Anne of Troy, end of now, and they're coming to get him inside the half. It's Jupiter still hanging on. Where's the post for Jupiter? Jupiter's going to just hang on here. Jupiter takes it from Anne of Troy in second. Sound out to step, I think it was third. End of now, fourth. So, good win there for Django with Jupiter. Takes it. It was the 130 favourite. He'd be glad with that. A win. Second was Anne of Troy for Paul Rhodes. Third was end of now for John Morgan. Fourth was San Autor Esp. For Darren Thompson and fifth was Pint in Purple, also for Molly at Surfer. And uh, that's your lot. Let's move on to race 22.